In the small, isolated town of Ravenswood, there was a peculiar legend that sent shivers down the spines of even the bravest residents. It was a tale of an old ambulance, long forgotten and hidden away in the outskirts of the town, and the chilling events that unfolded around it. The story began with a notorious criminal who, after a string of gruesome murders, met his demise in a violent shootout with the police. The officers managed to capture the criminal, but he succumbed to his injuries before they could reach the hospital. Desperate to dispose of the body discreetly, the authorities decided to use the abandoned ambulance tucked away in the outskirts of Ravenswood. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting shadows across the deserted town, the ambulance rumbled to life. Inside, the lifeless body of the criminal lay on a cold stretcher. The air inside the vehicle seemed to thicken with an unnatural presence as the ambulance made its way through the winding roads, the only sound being the distant howling of the wind. However, something went awry that fateful night. A dense fog enveloped the town, obscuring the path ahead. The ambulance driver, disoriented and panicked, took a wrong turn, leading the vehicle into the heart of Ravenswood's long-forgotten cemetery. The atmosphere grew eerier as the ambulance entered the graveyard, its headlights casting eerie shadows on the tombstones. Desperate to correct the course, the driver navigated through the dark labyrinth of graves, the air inside the ambulance becoming colder with each passing moment. Suddenly, the vehicle jolted to a stop. The driver, paralyzed with fear, peered into the rearview mirror, only to see the lifeless eyes of the criminal staring back at him. The dead man's hand, icy and pale, reached out from the stretcher, gripping the edge with an otherworldly strength. A ghastly whisper filled the ambulance as the deceased criminal spoke from beyond the grave, recounting the gruesome details of his crimes. The driver, trapped in the confined space with the vengeful spirit, felt the temperature drop to bone-chilling levels. Terrified, the driver fled the ambulance, leaving it stranded in the cemetery. From that night on, the haunted ambulance became a spectral fixture in Ravenswood. Locals claimed that on moonless nights, the chilling wail of sirens echoed through the graveyard, accompanied by the anguished whispers of the vengeful criminal. The townspeople avoided the cemetery after dark, fearing the malevolent presence that lingered near the abandoned ambulance. The legend of the haunted ambulance and the tormented criminal served as a cautionary tale, a reminder that some souls, even in death, refuse to rest peacefully, forever haunting the forgotten corners of Ravenswood. Story 2. The air hung thick with the scent of disinfectant as Dr. Evelyn Hart stepped into the dilapidated asylum, her breath visible in the chilly darkness. The flickering overhead lights cast eerie shadows across the cracked tiles, creating an unsettling atmosphere. She couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. As the newly appointed head of psychiatry, Evelyn had been tasked with reopening the long-abandoned hospital and rehabilitating its reputation. The building, with its ominous history of experimental treatments and mysterious disappearances, had become a haunting relic of the past. Evelyn's arrival had stirred the ghosts that lurked within the asylum's walls. Whispers echoed through the empty hallways, and the cold winds seemed to carry the anguished cries of forgotten souls. Undeterred, she pressed on, determined to prove that the horrors of the past could be exorcised. On the first night, strange occurrences began to unfold. The lights flickered more violently, and a distant, unearthly wailing echoed through the corridors. Evelyn dismissed it as the product of an overactive imagination, attributing the disturbances to the building's age and neglect. However, her skepticism waned when she discovered a hidden basement level, sealed off for decades. The door creaked open, revealing a maze of dimly lit tunnels lined with rusting cages. The air was heavy with the stench of decay, and in the flickering light, Evelyn caught glimpses of shadowy figures moving in the corners of her vision. As Evelyn delved deeper into the bowels of the asylum, she uncovered the dark secrets that had been buried for so long. The hospital had been a front for illegal experiments, and the patients had suffered unimaginable horrors at the hands of sadistic doctors. 
The tortured souls, unable to find peace, had become malevolent entities trapped within the decaying walls. Haunted by guilt and an overwhelming sense of responsibility, Evelyn sought to free the spirits that lingered. Armed with ancient texts on paranormal rituals, she embarked on a dangerous journey to communicate with the otherworldly entities and offer them solace. Nights turned into a surreal dance of reality and nightmare as Evelyn conducted her experiments. Unseen forces played tricks on her senses, distorting time and space. The line between the living and the dead blurred, and the asylum seemed to exist in a realm beyond comprehension. As Evelyn delved deeper into the rituals, she unwittingly became a conduit for the tortured spirits. Their whispers invaded her mind, urging her to unlock the gates of the afterlife. The asylum became a battleground between the living and the dead, with Evelyn caught in the middle. Each encounter with the spirits brought forth gruesome visions from the hospital's dark past. The line between doctor and patient blurred, and Evelyn questioned her sanity as the spectral entities manipulated her perceptions. Shadows morphed into twisted forms, and the air pulsed with an otherworldly energy. In the final confrontation, Evelyn faced the malevolent force that had held the asylum captive for decades. The tormented spirits sought vengeance, but Evelyn pleaded for mercy, promising to set them free. The very fabric of reality seemed to tear as the spirits hesitated, caught between the desire for retribution and the hope of release. In a moment of transcendence, Evelyn unleashed a burst of ethereal energy, breaking the shackles that bound the spirits to the asylum. The oppressive darkness lifted, and the tortured souls ascended, leaving behind an eerie calm. As dawn broke, the asylum stood silent and empty. Doctor. Evelyn Hart emerged, disheveled and haunted by the horrors she had witnessed. The once malevolent building now bore the scars of its painful history but seemed to exhale a sigh of relief. The authorities, responding to the strange occurrences, arrived to find the asylum abandoned. Evelyn, with a distant look in her eyes, handed them the keys and walked away from the building, forever changed by the harrowing ordeal. The echoes of desolation lingered, carried on the winds that whispered through the empty corridors. The asylum, now devoid of the tortured spirits, stood as a testament to the thin veil between the living and the dead, a veil that, once torn, unleashed horrors that transcended the boundaries of time and sanity. Story 3. The night was pitch black as Dr. Samantha Collins navigated the winding road leading to the desolate asylum. The imposing structure loomed in the distance, surrounded by a dense forest that seemed to swallow the feeble glow of her headlights. Dr. Collins had accepted the position of chief psychiatrist at the mysterious facility, known for its ominous reputation as the Infirmary of Forgotten Souls. The moment she crossed the threshold, an oppressive air enveloped Samantha. The asylum's grand entrance, adorned with grotesque gargoyles, seemed to mock her with silent screams. As she stepped into the dimly lit foyer, the heavy door creaked shut behind her, sealing her fate within the oppressive walls. Her mission was to rehabilitate the asylum, notorious for its dark history of experimental treatments and the unexplained deaths of both patients and staff. Doctor. Collins, however, was undeterred by the tales whispered in the psychiatric community about the facility's cursed legacy. As Samantha delved into the asylum's patient records, she discovered a name recurring in Faded Inc. Drive. Richard Harrow, the chief physician during the darkest years of the institution. Intrigued, she sought out the old hospital archives stored in a forgotten corner of the basement. The archives revealed a series of disturbing experiments conducted by Dr. Harrow. Patients had been subjected to cruel treatments, their suffering documented in meticulous detail. As Samantha read through the harrowing accounts, a cold wind seemed to sweep through the basement, extinguishing the flickering lights. Ignoring the unnerving sensation crawling up her spine, drive. Collins resolved to expose the truth and bring justice to the forgotten souls that haunted the asylum. Little did she know that her journey would unravel a sinister force that transcended the boundaries of the living and the dead. 
The first night brought unsettling disturbances, a distant rhythmic tapping, whispers that echoed through empty corridors, and flickering lights casting eerie shadows on the peeling wallpaper. Samantha dismissed them as mere remnants of the asylum's past, a psychological residue she believed could be cleansed with time. However, as the days passed, the supernatural occurrences escalated. Patients reported visions of ghostly figures in their rooms, and the night staff spoke of phantom footsteps echoing through the vacant halls. Dr. Collins began experiencing vivid nightmares, harrowing scenes of suffering, with the face of Dr. Harrow etched into every tortured soul. Determined to confront the malevolent force plaguing the asylum, Samantha delved deeper into drive. Harrow's experiments. Her research led her to a hidden chamber in the heart of the facility, a room obscured by an illusory wall. Inside, she discovered a collection of preserved brains, each labeled with the name of a patient who had perished under drive. Harrow's care. The brains pulsated with an otherworldly energy, and as Samantha touched them, visions of the patient's final moments flooded her mind. It was as if their anguish had been trapped within the very fabric of their neurological tissue, and Dr. Collins recoiled in horror at the depth of Dr. Harrow's cruelty. Haunted by the tormented spirits, Samantha sought guidance from an enigmatic custodian named Elias, who claimed to have witnessed the horrors firsthand. Elias revealed that the patient's souls had been entangled with the asylum, their suffering eternally bound to the decaying walls. Dr. Harrow had sought to unlock the secrets of the afterlife but had inadvertently become a conduit for malevolent forces. Elias guided Samantha through a perilous ritual aimed at appeasing the vengeful spirits. The asylum transformed into a surreal battleground between the living and the dead as ethereal entities clashed in a spectral conflict. Samantha's sanity teetered on the edge as she navigated the shifting realities, facing manifestations of her deepest fears and the collective anguish of the forgotten souls. In a climactic confrontation with the spectral embodiment of Dr. Harrow, Samantha pleaded for redemption on behalf of the tormented souls. The malevolent force, fueled by its insatiable thirst for power, resisted her pleas, unleashing a tempest of supernatural fury. As the final ritual reached its crescendo, Samantha became a vessel for the anguished spirits. Their collective energy surged through her, tearing through the veil between worlds. The walls of the asylum groaned and shuddered as if the very fabric of reality was unraveling. In a blinding burst of ethereal light, the vengeful force was expelled from the asylum. The tortured souls ascended, leaving behind a profound silence that reverberated through the now still corridors. As dawn broke, drive. Samantha Collins emerged from the asylum, physically and mentally drained. The once ominous building stood in somber tranquility, the malevolence that had plagued it for decades finally banished. The weight of the forgotten souls had been lifted, and the infirmary of forgotten souls could begin its journey toward redemption. Samantha, forever changed by her ordeal, walked away from the asylum. The whispers of the past lingered in the wind, a haunting reminder of the thin veil that separated the living from the dead. The infirmary, though scarred by its dark history, now stood as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the possibility of redemption even in the face of unspeakable horrors.